what is usp general chapter of chromatography answer usp general chapter number 621 question how many types of chromatography answer there are two types of chromatography one is the liquid chromatography second one gas chromatography question what is full form of hplc answer high performance liquid chromatography or high pressure liquid chromatography question why we call it high pressure liquid chromatography answer because applying high pressure by using pump and chromatography question what is principle of hplc hplc is a separation technique of components from mixture by using solid stationary phase and liquid mobile phase what is reversed phase chromatography answer where mobile phase is more polar than stationary phase is called reversed phase chromatography question what is normal phase chromatography answer where stationary phase is more polar then mobile phase is called normal phase chromatography question what are the components of hplc answer reservoir pump sample compartment column compartment detector and recorder what are the types of detector used in hplc answer uv detector pda detector fluorescence detector conductivity detector refractive index detector light scattering detector what is gradient run answer the mobile phase composition varies over run time gradient program example retention time channel a and b at 1 minute channel a 70 channel b 30 at 2 minutes channel a 30 channel b 70 what is isocritic run answer mobile phase same throughout the run example 1 minute to 5 minutes what is linear gradient answer mobile phase remains same throughout the run by using different reservoirs what is retention time answer it is the time between injection and appearance of the peak maxima question what is rrt relative retention time it is a measure of the difference of affinities of two compounds for the stationary phase question which standards used for hplc calibration answer caffeine standard used for the hplc calibration question why caffeine used for hplc calibration answer it is very stable it is durable easily available in market it shows two maxima one minima at 205 273 245 nanometers respectively what is the most commonly used in stationary phase answer silica gel question why silica gel used in stationary phase answer silica gel is a inert material doesn't react with mobile phase that's why we used silica gel explain the flow diagram of hplc the flow diagram of hplc solvent reservoir to pump pump to move mobile phase in pressure degasser to remove dissolved air mixing wall to mix pump guard column to analytical column sample injector to insert sample column to separate components detector to detect the component 
recorder to record the analyzed data outlet to collect the waste thank you